What's up, nerds? JR Shank here. If you ever had that problem where you've got two PCs set up, and you've got too many keyboards and mouse, and you've got a lot of desk space, it can be very frustrating. Today, I'm going to show you how to use one keyboard and a mouse over two computers. Enjoy! So, to get started, you need to download something called Input Director. Link will be down in the description below. Once you've gone to this web page here, you want to click on this input director version 1.43. Then we want to download the top one here. We need to download this on both computers. So you, what you're going to have here is a master computer and a slave computer. Your master computer will be your gaming PC and your second computer will be your slave computer. Once that's installed, we'll start on the slave computer. You have a, a box that looks something like this. You want to go to your slave configuration. Once you're here, you want to add your master. So you can do a few options here to do this. And the easiest way is to click on add and you've got a host name here. You can either add your PC actual name, which you can find if you go down to your search bar on your master computer type, and type name. And here you say view your PC name. And this option here, you will have it here, the top device name. You just copy this from your master PC to your slave computer. This box here. Or you can do it through your IP. So on your master PC, you could go down to here and put CMD, your command prompt. Once that's up, you put IP on big. And here you will have uh, various options. You're looking for IPv4 address. This address here on your master PC, what you need to copy and put into your slave host name, which will be here. Once you clicked OK, that will pop up in the box here. And then you move over to your master PC, which we'll do right now. Now we're on your master computer. So on this computer, you have input director installed also. You load it up and you want to go to the tab master configuration. Here you click add. And it's the same again in the host name. You want to put the, the name of your slave computer or your IP address. Over by on your slave computer by typing name. Find you the name under this tab here. Or write in CMD, hit your command prompt up, write in IP config. Here you'll find it under the IP4 address. Copy either the computer name of your slave computer or the IP address of your slave computer in this box here. Once that's done, you want to make sure it's actually activated and enabled. To do this on your master PC, you want to enable as master. Once you click this, that should enable this to be ready to talk to your stream computer. To see if this is enabled, you click down here and you find the little icon. It should be red for master. And on your slave computer, it should be green for slave. Again, you want to enable as slave. So before it's all finished, there's a few little tips to do. So. What I have enabled is the hotkey to return to input master system. This is so when your mouse is on the other computer, you can press a hotkey and it will return your mouse to the original, your, your original computer, which would be the master computer. I usually have this as numpad zero. So when I move over to the other computer now and press numpad zero, it should return the mouse to here, master computer. Be able to switch between your two computers with just one key. This would be under your slave configuration on your master computer. When you've entered in your IP address here, you can set your hotkey to switch between them. I usually have mine as numpad zero. Once that's done, you, as you can see, I can switch between two computers. There's two other things you need to do before you finish. Is go into your master configuration. So. When you have yours both set up, this will show two different monitors. 
you can arrange them to whatever way they go you can move your mouse to the edge and roll it into the other monitor like it's just two monitors on one computer to stop the mouse moving over some games it it can move over there and it will like not drop you out the game which could be quite annoying you want to go to master preferences here you will see on this transition option i'll set this single hotkey the hotkeys disable enable screen edge transition on the system set this to whatever you want and when you click that you can't move off the screen onto the other computer anymore click it again to enable it and then you'll be able to move it onto the other monitor so there we have it we've got one keyboard and mouse on two computers it should save you time and space on your desktop if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did not remember you don't have to i'm not forcing you to do anything if you didn't like it put a thumbs down but tell me why in the comments why you didn't like it below remember guys i stream every monday wednesday and friday on twitch i i shank i i link will be down in the description below and i'll catch you guys on the next one yeah